Hi guys, I'm bringing you a product review of the Gen 5 Glock 19. Go ahead and open it up. This particular model does come with factory night sights. So what do you get? You get your lock, you get your cleaning brush, cleaning rod, you get your magazine loader, you get your three 15 round magazines. All right, so you can have 16 rounds in this weapon, one in the chamber, and then you can have 15 rounds in the magazine, total of 16 rounds. <clears throat> you have your back straps, you got your low profile back straps, and then you have your two uh, beaver tank or beaver tail back straps. All right, you've got your paperwork and you've got your Tupperware case. So some of the features of the Glock, uh, let's start with the newest features and work our way to the old features. So something new is the uh, the texture, okay? They removed the finger grooves. No more finger grooves, it's flat and smooth more. So it does have the, te the texturing, <clears throat> so it's not totally smooth, but I'm saying you don't have a finger groove, so that portion of it is smoother. I do like this texturing as far as it's very grippy. And they added the uh, law enforcement uh, cutout, uh, which has always came on the LEO models where you can strip mags. So if you have a mag in, if you have a malfunction or something like that, and you hit the mag release, you can stick your finger in and you can pull and strip the magazine out. So they added that cut there. All right. <clears throat> Another thing that they added was they made the slide catch uh, ambidextrous. So they put a cut here on the on the right side of the weapon so that you can you can lock the slide back from the right or the left, shall I say, the left side of the weapon or the right side of the weapon. And you can uh, release or release on either side. So I just released here, which would be the same as if I was using my left arm with my left hand, my reactionary hand. So they made the weapon ambidextrous and we know that the magazine release has always been on the Gen 4s where you can swap it. You can take it and you can just reverse it and put it on this side. Well, you can still do that with the Gen 5. So if you're left-handed, you can totally have a left-handed operational Glock where you can do everything. You can manipulate it with your uh, strong hand, your dominant hand, which would be your left hand if you're a left-handed shooter. <clears throat> okay. so. The trigger is still the same. Safe action trigger. They did remove one of the pins, but I mean, the trigger is still pretty much the same. Okay. So the barrel length is 4.02 uh, inches from here to here. The weight without the magazine is 610 grams or 21.52 ounces. The weight with an empty magazine, which is this state, is 680 grams or 23.99 ounces. The weight with the loaded magazine, which I do not have, is 880 grams or 31.04 ounces. The trigger pull is 26 Newtons, which is about 5.8 pounds. A very doable trigger. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than the Glock 43 or the 48 or the 43X. Uh, but you would expect those triggers to be a little bit lighter because they're compact handguns and it's going to be a little bit harder to hit your target with it because it's a smaller handgun. So, you know, Glock took some of the weight a little bit off of those triggers. Okay. Just giving you a little bit more information. The length of the handgun from here, from here to here, the length is seven. 0.28 inches the length from here the sight to the the frame or the grip is going to be 5.04 inches so it is concealable it's the same length as the glock 48 or the 43 x it's just it's just thicker here so the thickness of the handgun from here is going to be one inch flat. So you've got one inch here. We're on the smaller models like the 43 and the uh, 43X and the 48 were point, 
80 with seven or something like that. So they're under an inch and this is one inch in thickness. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the handgun. You got your frame, you got your guard rod or your recoil spring and you've got your barrel, which is 4.02 inches. I've already stated that. You've got your firing pin block and you've got your striker right here. So that's it, it's a Glock. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, very easy to take down, very easy to uh, field strip and put back together. That's it in a nutshell, guys. This handgun is simplistic and it is my favorite to carry uh, all Glock 19s. Uh, whether it's a Gen 3, Gen 4, or Gen 5, uh, they have been my choice of carry handguns for quite some time because they're simplistic, they work, they're not too much, they're not too little, they're, just, they're, they're that happy medium for me. But this is my review on the Gen 5 Glock 19. As always guys, please like and share and subscribe. I absolutely love you guys and have a wonderful day.